client with streams, videos in the background using Vidal. So that was our basic aim. So and going on, we thought why only YouTube? We can use Twitter also. So we have tried that. So these apps will be really helpful. So maybe these little guys they were showing the tweets. So they were using a system for uh, filtering the tweets and pushing it to their display. So instead of that, they could have used a tablet or a, or a smartphone with wide eye and achieved that. And parallelly, they could have used a smartphone. And similarly, everything is cloud nowadays. So no one watches uh, videos which is stored in the SD card. There are no more SD cards coming out of the Nexus devices as well. So YouTube has all the videos. So if you are at, your, uh, at home and want to enjoy some videos, you need not uh, watch videos at, uh, through your phone. You can actually stream it in the background and project it to your secondary display and do some of the useful things with your mobile phone. So that's what we have tried to achieve. So we'll show you a demo. Seems to be some problem in the image. Or you can use the camera. You can see it. No, actually. Actually, I need to project this video from there. Okay. Got it. And use the smartphone. Okay. So I'll show video through this. Hold it first. Okay, so, so this is the basic layout of our app. Okay. So this is the basic layout of our app. So we are not uh, very good designers, you can see that. So we will show you some functionality. So uh, we have some uh, we have used a YouTube API which Google released earlier this year to achieve this. So play here is like a sample of the player which will play the uh, videos despite here in the text box. So now you watch a video on your player. So now I want to watch this on my secondary display. So I select send YouTube video to PG. So you can see that there is a service created. So YouTube. So if you can come there, I will show you a live demo where we stream the YouTube videos to the secondary display and parallelly we can use a phone for other purposes. So this is one use case. So the other use case is Twitter. Twitter is not fully implemented yet. So we use JTwitter for this. So you can have like all the keywords you want, Android and hashtags, whatever you want. The internet is a bit slow, I guess. So this this also will basically yeah, will basically create a background service which uh, which will display the tweets that you want. We need to authorize the app. So internet is, internet is pretty slow. So the 
functionality is same. So either tweets or YouTube videos or whatever Facebook pages, everything. You can just send them to your secondary display and do whatever you want with your mobile phone. So that's very productive. Thanks. Thank you. YouTube already has YouTube lead back. And then, you know, there are various ways to connect over the DLNA with the MHL. Right? You can always connect your smartphone. Right, and most of the smart tech users, which are available in the market, they have YouTube uh, and then Facebook, Twitter, and digits in them. Right, so all that you need is connect your smartphone with the TV via internet and YouTube link back. By so, what that you need uh, internet on your TV. So, even if you use Chromecast, you need internet on your TV, I guess. No, Chromecast is different. No, no, yes, Chromecast is one to one from Chromecast. Okay. okay. So maybe if you have internet only on your mobile phone mm -hmm. and you want to use multitask using it, mm -hmm. then this is the best option. Yes. So how do you throw off the TV? How do you throw off the TV? You're using internet from your mobile phone. Mm -hmm. So the action how is... How do you to the TV? Wi-Fi direct. Uh, so you can see there's Wi-Fi direct. Right? Yes. It's also a smart TV. Yes. Yeah, we are talking about specific apps. So all the TVs don't have specific apps that you ask for. Yes, the smart TV, all the smart TVs in the market, by default have to go Facebook and yes. YouTube. There's the uh, popular apps. Uh, one thing is uh, probably uh, sometimes like even if you don't have a smart TV, you can also have a normal TV where you can adapt. I mean, you will have an external adapter which acts like I mean your Wi-Fi director. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Multitask mode of why you are using? Yes, multitask. 